Well, here are two more institutions that are under fervent attack in this country, the Second Amendment and an objective press. This week, CNN received something called a Cronkite Award. You didn't win, but they did. And they won for a full-blown propaganda event that they staged after last year's Parkland shooting. It was a town hall on gun violence. It was a transparent excuse to ambush anyone who supports the Second Amendment and denounce them on national television, which is what happened. I think what you're asking about is the assault weapons ban. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> so let me be honest with you about that one. If I believed that that law would have prevented this from happening, I would support it. But I want to explain to you why it would not. Can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA in the future? I wish the NRA lady I, I could have talked to because I would ask her how she can look in the mirror considering the fact that she has children. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. You can shout me down when I'm finished, but let me answer Emma's question. I would have done everything in my power to prevent that. You just told this group of people that you are standing up for them. You're not standing up for them until you say, I want less weapons. Such demagogues. CNN did that. Dana Lash is a spokesman for the NRA. She was at that town hall. You just saw the tape, and she joins us tonight. It's, it's upsetting to watch that tape um, because it is so unfair. It's a mob basically screaming at you. What was it like to be there? Well, Tucker, thanks for talking about this. Well, we've learned so many things uh, since that time, right? Especially with Scott Israel on that stage. That's right. I don't know how to describe it. I, I when, when we found out that the town hall was taking place, I, I believe it was on a Wednesday, I found out that I was going there Tuesday. I found out that I was going to be asked questions that afternoon while on the plane. And it wasn't until I got there that I found out that I was going to be on stage and then later on stage with Scott Israel. And they actually cued me to walk out into the arena to a Black Eyed Peas song. And that's some of the footage that's after after the cameras stopped rolling with CNN what CNN didn't tell people is that they allowed and invited politicians to come up on stage and electioneer Scott Israel was able to make a big O electioneering speech before this even began in which he already started deflecting blame by putting it on me uh, it was treated as this I, I, I think for ratings they they tried to stylize this to make it most emotionally impactful I question the ethics of them putting it on this way. This wasn't, Tucker, this wasn't a journalistic endeavor. They had this town hall literally titled, it was called Stand Up, the Students of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Demand Action. That's not a journalistic no. endeavor. That is not a journalistic enterprise. That's advocacy. Well, I wouldn't question the ethics. This is flat out unethical. It's wrong. I can't imagine why they'd win whatever dumb award they won. They should be ashamed of what they did. I mean, people were really hostile toward you. Um, how did you feel? I mean, what was yeah. that like? <laughs> I've never been in a situation like that. I've never been in a situation where I had someone rush me from behind and try to get me and a member of my detail grabbed them. I mean, I showed up in good faith to have a discussion about the issue at hand. And it wasn't just this town hall either. I mean, you'll remember, Tucker, even after this, that particular network allowed to stand unchallenged on their airwaves accusations about not just my integrity as a person and as a mother, but also millions of law Fighting gun owners all across yeah. the United States. Their integrity was questioned. Their parental genu genuineness was questioned. They were questioned as sane people simply because they thought differently. What they did, what this town hall did, was set dialogue back by I don't know how, how much. It, yeah. I mean, it pushed dialogue back. It was an embarrassing display of bias, and they should feel ashamed instead of back patting themselves for this. I mean, honestly, one last thing, Tucker, this, for them to say that this advanced the national conversation on gun control is like saying the Salem witch trials advanced the conversation on, on women's rights. That's exactly what this was like. It was an embarrassment, and they should be ashamed. And to do this just days after a mass murder, to leverage that tragedy the way they did, they should be ashamed. I agree with you 100%. Thanks very much yeah. for telling us what that was like. It's disgusting.